Hi, it's Jeff Wade here at StockIdeas.org. Today I just want to do a quick video about uh, the best indicators for trends, uh, the best technical indicators. So I just pulled up a chart of a stock here, SNV is a stock that we called out in uh, January as one of our top stock ideas at uh, StockIdeas.org. And the key indicator I want to talk about is the moving averages. Um, and basically, the thing I want to talk about is if you look at how the moving averages all relate to one another, you can get a really good idea as to the strength of the trend. So in this case, um, in the, with the case of this stock, with the case of uh, the SPY right now, you know, you can see that the longer term moving averages, the 200 day and the 100 day are sloping up and the 50 day and the 20 day are also sloping up. So when all of the moving averages are aligned like this, it's telling you that the trend is really strong. Um, from a perspective of simple price action, you know, you can also see that the stock is making higher highs and higher lows uh, and is in fact trending up. So if you're looking for strong trends, you know, the best technical indicator, as simple as it is, is to just look at the moving averages and look at the slopes of the moving averages relative to one another. So you can see that they're all nicely aligned and they're all moving up. Conversely, you know, if we look at a stock like IAG right now, which is a uh, gold miner stock, you can see that it's in quite a downtrend uh, at this moment. And, you know, all of these moving averages are aligned um, in a downward trend. Now, of course, if you zoom in a little bit, you can start to see that the 20-day moving average is starting to flatten out, and the 50-day moving average is, you know, acting as a bit of resistance right now, but will, uh, you know, maybe, maybe slope upwards too. But the point is, you know, you can tell that the trend is not that strong here because the moving averages are not aligned. So, or they're aligned downwards, and they're starting to um, diverge a little bit. The 20 day is starting to come up, um, whereas these longer term moving averages are still sloping down, which tells you, you know, this stock, watch out, is in a big downtrend. Uh, and it's in a powerful downtrend, so you want to be careful with, uh, you know, getting too fancy uh, by and trying to pick a bottom here when the trend is uh, still moving up. So, a net. NTWK uh, Netsol is another example here where uh, it may have put in a bit of a bottom uh, and you can see the 20 day moving average is starting to come up and cross over the 50 day moving average but there are still these longer term moving averages that are you know telegraphing a downtrend so <coughs> you just want to be careful in these situations and not um, you know, overdo your position size. You can see that the stock is making a higher high and it's now made a higher low and might even put in another higher high and that's a good start to a new trend. But you just want to be conscientious of how the different moving averages uh, are relating to one another. And, you know, there are tons of technical indicators you can use. But truly, you know, if you look at just the moving averages, how they relate to each other, the slopes of the moving averages relative to one another, it's really the best technical indicator uh, to give you an idea of you know, the strength of the trend um, and whether it's likely or not to continue. So I hope this has been helpful in helping you identify trends. Again, you, know, you can use whichever moving averages you like. You could use a 10-day, you could use a 150-day. You know, everyone has their preferences. The key thing to remember is that, you know, you want to look at how they're relating relative to one another and the slopes relative to one another. And that'll give you a huge indication as to the strength and durability of the trend. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you're looking for more stock ideas and analysis, come by and visit stockideas.org. Uh, lots of great ideas uh, and ways to assess your stocks. So thanks very much for watching uh, and please subscribe.